How's it going? My name is Austin. I'm from Markham, Ontario. I'm going from grade 12 to first year university at Western Ontario. I'm going into my first two years in business management and the next two years into Ivy. My parents are from Hong Kong, so I'm Asian. And for me personally, I speak Cantonese and English. Two years ago, I had one of the best moments in my life and following that right after was the lowest point in my life. And just having that trajectory, that roller coaster of emotions was what really impacted my life as one of the most defining moments in my life. It first started off with winning competitions, winning money, winning prizes, everything that I may be, winning multiple competitions at once, being featured on news articles, national news articles, having articles written about me. I've had all of that and it was one of the pinnacle moments in my life where I felt like I was successful and it was all because I worked on a company that I was super, super proud of and it was this company that people believed in me to actually go and create and it was then after that I had a two month period in the summer. In that two month period, I worked as hard as I could working close to 14 hour days trying to build up this business. But when I finished up that summer, I didn't have anything to show for it. And I got back to school and that was essentially when the decline had started. I didn't have any more awards, any more money, any accolades to show anything that I've done in the past summer. And I had this identity crisis of, was I really born to be an entrepreneur? Was I really born to help people? And from that moment on, it was this just identity crisis of mine that I was really wondering who I was meant to be as a person because I felt so passionate, but even though I worked two months nonstop on it, I didn't have anything to show for it. And it was just this point in time where I felt super alone and super afraid for the future because if I can't do this simple thing when I had everyone's support, then if I don't have anyone's support, then where would that leave me in life? That point in time had taught me a lot and me looking back at it two years later, I now look at it and realize that it was part of the journey. If I hadn't gone through those lows, that high than that low, then I wouldn't be where I am today and learning all of the lessons that I've learned today. And throughout that two year period, I've decided to focus more on myself through self-improvement and just being able to ensure that I am the best version of myself possible. I no longer try to compare myself towards who and what I should have done by this specific age. And throughout this period of time of two years, just being able to learn as much as possible about myself and have the self-awareness that wherever I go in life, that I'll be able to do whatever it takes with the work that I put in. For the past couple of years, I've been working on content creation, whether that would be writing online articles or creating online courses. I've ultimately wanted to take all of the knowledge I've learned from self-improvement, whether that be reading hundreds of books, podcasts, or lessons online. I wanted to take all of that information and put it into a daily journal because I've realized how important having a daily habit for yourself is and just being able to build the consistency in your own life. So for me personally, in the next couple of months, I'm gonna be working on the progression journal, which is a daily journal focused on gratitude, productivity, and daily self-improvement. So that's what I'm currently working on. I've had a lot of struggle in my life, whether that would be low points in my life or comparing myself to others and feeling badly about my progress. I have one piece of encouragement that I can give to others who are facing a difficult time in their lives as well. And it would be this single piece of encouragement. It would be to continue moving forward. No matter what happens in life, it's to continue moving forward. And I know that how cliche and how cheesy it can sound, it's how easy it is to say, just keep moving forward in a difficult time. But I say it because it's practical and it's helped my own life. Wherever you are in life, you can always move one step forward. It doesn't matter if it's one small step, if it's 1% every single day, as long as you keep moving forward, you'll be able to reach your goals, whatever they are, with due time. For me, for me in my life, I realized that even though there were some days where I didn't want to get out of bed and do the things that I wanted to do or hit the goals that I've wanted to do, I've realized that I'm going to continue moving forward every single day. And for, let's say, a business goal, even if I did one task a day, no matter how small, I would continue that momentum every single day. And no matter what, 
I would continue moving 1% every single day.